Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning back in. Now, today we are going to be using this new bit of kit that we bought here, the Metabu or Metabo, whatever you want to call it, uh, wall chaser and vacuum. Now, this has been a one of those purchases I've been sort of putting off and I've been, you, you keep looking at it online and you keep wanting to buy it, you never quite get around to it. And the, we're working on a house rewire now, which you're gonna be seeing the content for on Monday at four o'clock. So that is gonna be coming out Monday, but this is just gonna be the review of using this bit of kit. Now, this cost us, I think it was about 800 and, it was about 850 quid delivered. And that comes with, so that's the wall chaser, which is this bit of kit here, but that comes with the triple blade, which is the bit we wanted. Blade is quite expensive though. That blade, it comes with a double blade. So this is what it comes with in the box. You buy it with, you buy this kit and it comes with two blades which you put into the machine. But if you want the ability to not have to use the SDS to chase out afterwards, you have to buy the triple blade, which is that one there. But that's pretty pricey. That's about 120 quid, that blade. So I'll be interested. To, I'm expecting for this sort of money, I'm expecting big results. I'm really expecting, you know, well, I should not have to be using that at all. So we're going to see. So what we're going to do, I've never used this before. So this arrived, literally this arrived in the mail yesterday. So we're going to set it up. We'll go through it together and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so implement wise, we've got the grinder, which is here. I actually left the manual in the shop this morning. So I've got to, I've downloaded it on my phone, but we've got the chaser. We've got a pair of discs, which we're not going to use today. We've got the triple disc, which we spoke about. We've got this tool here, which I'm guessing is to remove the disc and re that's the locking device for replacing the discs. Chisel, I'm not expecting to use that today. And then we've got this range of accessories here. So we've got a red hose, which I'm guessing that end is probably going to go on there. That end's going to go on the other side, the other end of the wall chaser. And you can just use this on its own. You don't have to use this with this machine. You can just use this on its own as a hoover. So it has got hoover attachments and it is, by all accounts, a wet and dry hoover. So you can use this for hoovering up water if needed. So I've got a range of attachments there, but we're not going to be looking at those in too much detail. So the first thing we've got to do is apparently there's this bag. So we've got to fit this into here. So, right, open these, done. So that lifts off. So yeah, I think the idea of this bag is it just makes it easier for emptying. So you can take that off, just pull the whole bag out, I think. So that's got to go in. And the way that I interpret the instructions now is that this bag has to fold out over the edges of the hoover, like so. Something like that, that's how I interpret it. So the bag is locked between the, the upper and lower parts of the hoover. From a first impression, first things I do like about it that are obvious, it's got a really nice flex and it's got a long lead actually. That lead is a good, what's that? One, two, three, four. That's a good five. That's a good six meter long lead they give you. So they're very generous with the cable they give you. Nothing worse than a mains operated appliance with a two meter lead on it. So that's the first thing I like. It looks like on the back we've got storage, some sort of storage for these. Yeah, storage for these, I guess. We're not going to be using those, but you can store all of those implements on the back. So the idea of this is that it's got a power takeoff. So as soon as you switch on the wall chaser, this automatically switches on and then vice versa when you turn it off. So let's figure out how to get this triple blade into this wall chaser next. Yeah, you could do some damage with that blade, no doubt. That's a really, that's a properly chunky bit of kit. It'll be interesting, it should last quite a long time. That's a diamond blade. It should last a good long while before we have to change it. But time will tell, we've got a lot of chasing here to do. So we're gonna give this a good run for its money. Okay, gotta be honest, a bit more thought could have gone into that design of tightening this disc. Cause you can't, you can't get a good purchase on that at all. It's, Yeah, this is where Bosch's quick lock release system really comes into its own. Oh, it's as tight as I'm going to get it. So you've got a depth gauge so you can decide how, how deep or how shallow you want the cut in the wall to be. I mean, that's actually a long way when you look at it. That's a properly deep cut you can achieve with that. So we're not going to go that deep because we're only putting in a, 
a 25 mil oval pipe. And I think the idea is, in fact, we've put it up to the wall and you can see, yeah, that's literally the idea. So you just run it up and down the wall on the wheels, but to start it, you just put it on the wall where you want to start and then you just lower it in and then you're off. You just start cutting up the wall. Okay, so hose. Okay. All right, I like that. That's a very quick design. They thought that through and it's a super flexible hose, which I also like. All right, so we have a swivel joint there. Okay, and that's literally it. So theoretically, we should be able to just start using that now. That's it, ready for use. Yeah, all right, let's give it a go. Takes you 10 minutes to fit it, but the mask, these JSP with the removable filters, they really are superb. They're brilliant bits of kit. Just fiddly to, they're very fiddly to fit and they're not, they're comfortable around your face, but yeah, they're not, uh, you wouldn't want to wear it all day sort of thing. I've got to say, that is a heavy beast to hold. To, to drive that up the wall, that will give you an arm workout, definitely. But there's no denying it, that is impressive. That is no chiseling, no nothing, you know? You can just like literally just move on to the next line now and you can just, somebody just come behind, just cut the box in, job done, you move on. For the result you get, I mean, that is a beautifully clean cut. I mean, if another contractor walked in and saw that, they'd go, you know, it's, it is that look. And there's no dust. Yeah, that's the other thing. There's absolutely no dust. I mean, normally by now, if you were doing that with a grinder where you do two cuts and an SDS, I mean, this room, would just, you wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to see Jay on the other side of the room. Yeah, and I'd be covered as well. I mean, that's immense. I could get in the van now and just drive home quite comfortably. I would actually like to point out, I actually bought this with my own money. In fact, I'll put the receipt here. We actually paid for that with our own cash, so I'm not actually sponsored by them. It's just, we're doing a load of chases in this house. And I just thought, I've done, yeah, I've done a grinder and SDS for years and it just, I thought today is the time to upgrade and it is worth, it's expensive. Like I say, that was, I think about 850 quid from memory. So it is expensive, but is it worth it? I think if you're doing that a lot, it, it's worth it. If you're doing the odd chase in Betty Crocker's house, probably not. But if you're doing something like this, where you're doing loads and loads of chases, it's absolutely worth it all day, especially if you're doing something like a rewire where it's habited, it's already tenanted, and you're trying to do the rewire around people. You know, it does happen and it's horrible to do, but if you had a machine like this, it would make it a lot more bearable. Now, technically, this probably is taking a tool outside of what it was supposed to do, but we've got two double sockets and a single bat box. So we've got two, well, a single bat box and two doubles going in here. Now this was my first cut. It was a very crude one, as you can see. They're dotting and dabbing this wall anyway, but the point is, one of the benefits, if you do just three lines like that, especially if you're going into red brick, which is really tough as we know, the beautiful advantage is if you put that on 40 mil, you can sink a 35 mil bat box in. And the best bit is you get a beautifully square back. You know, when you cut brick with an SDS, it's all bumpy and lumpy and the box sits like this and it's all with this. Again, you probably, it's you normally you'd use it for straight cuts, but with a bit of practice, no reason you couldn't actually just use it for this. You know, I can sink two double boxes in there. All right, the ends aren't particularly neat, but you get a beautifully, it sits beautifully straight, which is the main thing you want. And it sits like that all the way across which is fantastic, you know? So I'm gonna run another chase up here because this is actually for a TV and we're gonna be putting a capping in here. So I'm gonna run one more chase up here just to, I just wanna keep trying it and just mess around with it a little bit. I mean, actually, I'm already retracting what I said there because the dust extraction on that is so good. And like I say, we bought this, I'm not being paid to say this, we bought this out our own cash. The dust extraction on that is so good, you could almost not bother wearing a mask. It is that, I mean, there's just no dust in the air. I know you should wear one, I'm just making the point that it's, it's so good, you literally, <laughs> you could actually probably do without that, it's that good. It is a heavy beast, yeah, I mean, I'm, after doing these cuts here, I'm starting to feel it, it is, it's quite heavy going, but, and it is noisy, That's, there's no getting around it, but it's a wall chaser, it's gonna, there's, you know, there's no quiet way of doing it. But as a machine, this, I mean, it really is. 
I mean, that is just, that's the business, yeah. This is coming from somebody who spent 15 years with an angle grinder and a hoover underneath, all right? So this really is a, it's a step up, but that is, that is the business, 100%. So just out of curiosity, we've done one, two, three chase, well, probably three full chasers going up the wall. So I just wanted to pop inside the bag, have a little look and just see, just see how much dust and what it's managed to collect. It's a lot of dust, it, create, it picks up, it does do a good job. As you chase up the wall, it must have some sort of internal sensor in it. When it feels it start, when the filters are getting clogged because of all the dust, it bangs the filters out, I'll show you. It's quite clever. I think it does it to maintain optimum suction. And then when you're done, you would just take that, empty it. I suppose you could reuse the bag if you wanted to, um, but I think the idea is you just throw it away and you put a fresh bag in. But you could, I guess, if you wanted to, just empty the bag out and just keep reusing it. Um, but overall, that is a superb machine. Heavy on your arms. I mean, I've done three full chases from floor to ceiling. I can feel it on my upper arms. But honestly, that is a hell of a machine. And that really does, that makes life easier if you're doing rewires. That is absolutely a machine you've got to have in the back of your van. It's also an image thing, you know? When you come on site, when plasterers and builders and stuff come on site and they see beautifully done chases and it's all the same depth, it does look, you know, it does have a certain panache to it. It does look good. Yeah, even, that's it. even to the customer, when the customer walks in, you know, and they, after, once you've left at five o'clock and they come in, which they always do, they always like to have a look at what you've done after you've left. It does look, it just gives it an edge which you otherwise wouldn't have, you know? When you see cut marks all the way up the wall when you're using an SDS, it just looks, it does look nicer, it looks the business. So look, stick around for Monday's video because we're gonna be trialing this proper heavy duty on Monday. So we are gonna be putting this through its paces, doing lots and lots of runs, um, and gonna be using it a lot harder. So stick around for Monday's video. That's gonna be coming out Monday, 4 p.m. Um, in the meantime, subscribe, make sure you hit the like button down below, give us a little like. Otherwise, we'll see you next week.